The Lake Michigan shoreline took a beating from the big waves Wednesday, increasing beach erosion and also the threat to homes on the lake. In Norton Shores, some neighbors joined together to hold the lake back with an expensive seawall project. 13 on your side's John Mills has more on why the need right now is so urgent and the race against the clock for the crew in charge of building the seawall. Here in Norton Shores, the beach that attracted homeowners to this community is nearly gone, and Wednesday's big waves cut even deeper into the dune that protects homes on Norton Hills Road. It's a beautiful place to live. For 25 years, Paul Peter has watched the lake rise and fall, and during those swings, his beach has come and gone too. Oh, in 94, it was quite a ways out, maybe another 50 or 60 yards out. It was, it's uh, really fluctuated a lot over the years. Peter's property has a small seawall. His neighbor's property didn't. The houses are at risk uh, with, with erosion. But they're building one now, a big sea wall, to protect three homes at the top of the dune here. So it's something that you definitely worry about. I mean, there's a big investment in a home. And the lake just keeps coming up and it gets worse and worse and worse. Carl Perrin says as the lake's gone up, so have requests for his company to build sea walls like this one. We're going to bring in rock, put rock on the face of this all the way down and then wrap in and then tie into this wall. This job will end up costing the group of homeowners working together to build it around $500,000. If you don't do it, then it looks like that up there and it all starts falling in. Parents' crew couldn't work here Wednesday because of the big waves and strong winds. Yesterday was too bad. That storm will likely be followed by others this fall, resulting in the kind of conditions that may have even more homeowners who live on the lake checking into a seawall to protect their investment. Parents says those who wait could be in trouble. That lake is one tough mama. Took everybody's bluffs and has just taken it down. One wall we did, so much sand come down, it just fractured the whole wall and tipped it right over. And Perrin Marine Construction tells me they still have a number of jobs to finish this year. They say they'll be building seawalls like the one they were working on today in November and possibly even December too. In Norton Shores, John Mills, 13 on your side.